Hey, good morning. This is Scott from Spinning Wheels Photography, and I'm out here at Overland Expo 2019, Flagstaff, Arizona. And it's a cool 50, well, I think 55 degrees right now. And I'm enjoying the sun and the cool weather coming up from the hot desert the last couple days. I'm hoping to have some fun here today and show you some exciting things that are going on around the expo. So, hey, tune in once again. Overland Expo 2019, Flagstaff, Arizona. So we're back here, we're just wandering around. We've got uh, a good array of everything coming out with the uh, Expo itself. We got people wandering around looking at all the products. We've got all kinds of things coming out here pretty soon with the four wheel uh, network up in your subscription magazine for their next issue. Uh, electric bicycles, um, or I should say electric motorized bicycle. I don't think you can paddle them, but we're having a good old time right here right now and hopefully that uh, we'll get some exciting things coming up throughout our visit and we'll see you here in a little bit on the next video. inside of all this, we're all the inside of all this. Yeah. So I can probably go through like that. But it's not the best thing to do because it is a live line thing. So so I'm just gonna hold hold a bit of tension. Oh actually I've just noticed Ken. Yeah. Does anyone want to have a look at this and tell me what's wrong? So we're out here watching and they're teaching them winch techniques so they can properly learn how to winch off rocks, off of stakes, winch another vehicle up safely. So we get, like I said, back on stakes where you can pin in to a system to give you the ultimate strength if you're in areas that don't have any uh, rocks, boulders, trees. You can create your own setup to where you can take and winch out with real easily with using a block tackle and, and uh, sand stakes. You also got the the ultimate sand winch. So get up here and watch what they're doing. Step over a winch rope right. or cable. Or step step on it. Knows what, what I'm going to do now. I'm getting to the trump. You have a look. You see the, the, the uh, rope getting spread out too quickly because the fairing is narrower than the trump itself. So I'm going to let Kelsey know that I'm going in. She's off the pole, right? And then she's going to come here so she can't touch it. Okay. And I'm just going to go and have a look at the rope just back on the screen. 
corn is great for this one. We got your Back up here. We're gonna, for all intent and purpose, once we get to our point, just wrap it around our anchor again. Got it. Then we gotta do a re-rig. So, excuse me. Just gonna winch in again, guys. It's not great, but they do for what the fuck we use now. It's still going hand over hand, even though it's synthetic. Uh, it doesn't have barks and things like that, or so you drag it through the corn. You should always hand over hand as opposed to doing it slightly. Okay. The cow should be watching the tension on the rope as well. And drivers how to, and passengers how to spot their their vehicles. got the uh, off camber class here where we're teaching how to basically travel the world with unknown inclines. Okay, we're wandering around here at Overland Express, showing off all the things you need to know about off-roading, camping, or just a basic tow rig to camping rig coming through the days, nights, solar power, cabinetry, tow equipment, recovery equipment, whatever you need while you're out in the backcountry. They even got a, uh, looks like a uh, mobile pizza oven here. 
you can probably take out in the back country with you too. So, hot pizza's coming off the grill. Check this out. Look at this. Look at this. Hot pizza coming off the grill. Look at that. No. Um, already very important discussion that we're going to have, but we are not doing that. Check this out, making fresh pizzas. How's it going? Good. How you doing, man? Good. You ready to see a pizza go in? Is that what you're looking for? No, I just... Ah. <laughs> ah. Enjoy, gentlemen. We all caught up now? Yep. Yeah. Sean! Nope. How are you doing? Pretty good. How are you doing? Doing awesome. Yeah. Making pizzas. Making the best pizza here. Yeah. Yeah, actually, some of the best pizza anywhere. Mm. It's really good. Yeah. <laughs> Sean! Thank you. So as you can see, we've got it all over. Look at this. Turn back trailers. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Turn back trailer. Stand on top, cold water, storage area. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the customers the This is what we need right here. The ultimate rig. Ultimate rig. Hey, this is Scott from Spinning Wheels Photography, and I'm out here in Flagstaff, Arizona. I'm getting ready to leave uh, Overland Expo 2019 on my way back home. It has been a long day. I don't know about you, but that's a lot of walking. I mean, uh, granted, it's uh, a lot of things to see. Uh, we had different manufacturers from coolers to electric refrigerators. Had, um, oh, everything you could think of for recovery, tool sales, camping things. Spend your whole entire day here. This, uh, I think that's the reason why everybody gets a uh, weekend pass, because it takes you all weekend to get through everything. So, uh, I enjoyed myself today, and I hope that, uh, you know, if you were out here at uh, Overland Expo West in Flagstaff, Arizona, that uh, you too enjoyed yourself. Damn bugs. really nice to see you know people out here camping and showing off all their their rigs and after today I've learned that uh, this is quite a, a hobby camping and um, out backing with uh, different items you know spend your um, money on buying a vehicle depending on what you you know want four-wheel drive of course but you want a full-size truck you want you know mid-size truck you want uh, utility vehicle something that's going to suit your needs and then uh, from there you build on to it add your uh, tent or uh, if you're 
looking to have a camper or something of that set set up. You know, it's some of these campers in here are really nice and luxurious for really small teardrops for that much, and uh, really list you know listed out prices on it. Uh, durable construction. Jam. People trying to still come in. People starting to leave. So I guess the the overall investment would be you know the lifetime opportunities that you get out of your vehicles. And uh, with that, you know the opportunity to have a, a long term. Uh, set up where you, you know you're going to use it all the time never have to worry about it okay. and I think that uh, for the most part everything uh, well made I mean durable things that are going to last for years for you it's, so it's not going to be like a, a one time purchase and then I got to throw it away and start all over it's, it looks like it's going to be pretty much a uh, really heavy investment for you so I hope you uh, enjoy my video I don't know what else to say I'm trying to get home back into my area of town so about a two-hour drive for me so kind of uh, fighting traffic so to say Yeah, if you missed out on Overland Ex Expo, I know there's going to be a lot of people out there. I've seen quite a few people videotaping. I've seen quite a few people um, sharing stories, talking to different manufacturers, and uh, hopefully, you know, get to see what I get on here. I think it's something that uh, I might plan on next year as well, and hopefully something will turn out really good with this one. I really enjoyed the, a lot of walking, which means a lot of exercise. I don't know how many miles I walked today, uh, quite a few. So I'm on the, on the road down to home, and I wish you guys all the best. If you're out there in uh, the expo and you've seen this and you missed me, you know, I was the funny guy with the, the hat on, you know, the, this hat a famous camouflage hat that I like to wear. So, all right, well, I bid you adieu. Once again, this is Scott, Spinning Wheels Photography. Uh, check out my uh, new video. All right, you guys have a safe weekend.